What is going on guys? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 24th Node.js tutorial or Express.js again and in this tutorial I'm gonna just show you and play around with basic routing with some regex and yeah so that's pretty much it what we are gonna do in this tutorial so there's an update that I finally figured out how to just move this thing right there to node folder without any fuzz and without just screwing it up so eventually if I just create a new file and save it you can see that I get this where and if I just change this to node and save it then it just saves into this folder but eventually this doesn't work as promised because if I create another new file and save it it automatically changes to documents so I probably think I'm gonna screw it up again and then I'm just gonna talk about pizzas all day long well this is not happening today so you're lucky well let's get started now I'm just gonna copy and paste all of this code here all right now let's just clean some things up and now what I'm gonna say is that let's just say you are creating a next stack overflow community website and you want to just display the profiles of some people right there which have joined your form and you have this URL right there users registered to this router and what you want to do is you want to just forward all of these requests to router and you want to manage all of these requests to this router so what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna say this is the username of the user so what this column means well this column means that this username could be actually anything so that accepts anything in the URL and uh, it would just show you this what's going on message which is not very helpful so if I just change this to response dot end json dot stringify request dot params well what this is let's just see so I'm just gonna run my browser and reload this whoa the server was not up node node mon script 24.js here you go reload can and get this all right let's get to users yep and hit anything all right okay so yeah so this should be router right uh, we actually don't need this code so let's reload and here you go well right now as you can see we are getting this as a key value pair thing so you could have technically another field here and I can just add some more text here and as you can see we get this as well registered well you won't get another one because you haven't prepared your script to accept that but you can again do that so that's how you do that so I'm just gonna restrict it to one field only for now and here you go so for now as you can see it shows me anything and if I write like a semicolon or some characters like those well the hash is not included because this means something else well if I just do like some brackets right there then some quotes right there then some brackets again right there well eventually you won't want your user to have a username like this so what you would want to do is that you want to restrict this to some words or alphabets and numbers only so to do that you can make use of regular expressions as well and with the regular expression just write them inside your bracket and for now I'm just gonna say this is my word plus regular expression and I guess I need to double escape that because I need to escape the backslash as well so if I reload this as you can see now it kinda looks resolved so if I just get rid of all of this crap 
and hit enter you can see we get this nice little username right there and with numbers as well it should probably work as you can see so that's how you basically do basic routing with express router and feel free to ask me any question which arises in your mind and that's all for this one so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching